welcome to Whiteboard Wednesdays, Real Talk with a Real Tour. I'm Sharice Wen, also known as the Agent Lady. And today we are going to talk about short sales. So I have people coming to, coming to me when they see a home online for sale and such short sale. They're like, what is a short sale? Well, a short sale is when a seller is selling the home for less than they owe the bank. So why would somebody want to buy that short sale? Um, typically, in a lot of situations, that buyer can get that home for under market value. So what does that process look like? So tip, let's talk about a typical buying process. You have buyer and seller that come together and they come to terms and they sign a contract. You are now execute, you now have an executed contract. Um, now let's take a short sale process. Buyer and seller, again, come together, um, come to terms and now are under contract. But instead of this, in, Instead of this time, excuse me, I'm having trouble with my word today. Um, buyer and seller come together, um, but that seller is not the, the person to have the last say. The bank is, the person who, or the institution where they got the loan from. So they come in and they say whether or not they're going to accept your offer. And that is the process, that is the part of the process that takes the longest. So short, nothing short about it. It could take... Uh, I think my shortest short sale was about eight months. So really just depends on how much time you have. And with that being said, so now you have this different process. You're now under contract and in a typical situation, um, your next steps are to do your home inspection. With a short sale, you now have the option, like once you sign the contract, if you're gonna do your, your home inspection before or after the, uh, the bank comes back to you and says whether or not they're gonna accept or counter your offer. So I guess the, the, the question is, is a short sale for you? Well, that depends. Where are you currently living? Are you living at home and you have as much time as you want or you have a month to month lease and you, you, know, you can end that contract when you want? Or are you in a situation where you need to get out of your, um... one second folks, sorry, my phone is ringing. Okay, so is it for you? Um, it really just depends. And I would say if you are going to move forward with a, with a short sale process, I would say probably do that home inspection before the bank gets back to you. Cause it'd be a shame if, you know, you waited eight months, then did your home inspection only to find out that you didn't want the house. Then you just wasted a lot of time. So I say, just pay that money up front. Unfortunately, it's not something you can get back, but it's worth peace of mind. So I hope the information helped. I know it was a ton, um, but if you have any questions, you can definitely message me. And don't forget, friends don't let friends buy or sell without the agent lady. Have a great day, guys.